You wouldn't believe how much fun that four-wheel driving was. Boys and their toys, that is seriously addictive stuff. But now is the time to live up to my deal. Before I turn my attention to these little girls, I am going to get some sweet potato on the barbecue because you can't just have fish at a barbecue. Wrap these in foil and drop them in the side of the fire. Just roll them up like that. Now we can turn our attention to this lovely fish. The first thing I'm going to do is make some slices down the fish like so, just so we can get the marinade inside. We're not going to marinate the fish for long, probably just five or ten minutes. So we just want to help that flavour penetrate by making some cuts down the fish. Okay, that's one done. I could go on a safari with those fellas in those four-wheel drives. They have serious cars. I was a bit worried there for a second because on the back of Jez's car, it had, don't follow me, you won't make it. At least we came out the other side. Fantastic. So that's done. Now we need to make our marinade. It's a really simple marinade. It's a Thai marinade. We've got coriander roots, onion shallots, two or three of those size ones, and we start pounding. We want to just break this up and make it a nice fine paste. Now I'm going to add some chilli, a little bit of heat. Put about two or three of those in. Nice little bird's eye chilies. Okay, nice and smooth. You can see the colour change. The red chilies discoloured the onion and the coriander root. Now we're going to add in some turmeric powder and a tablespoon of white pepper. Some nice juicy lime juice. Roll it, roll it, so we can just squash all those sort of juice cells inside the lime. Look at that, fantastic. Now the great thing about limes, or these ones, Tahitian ones, there's no seeds. Okay, look at the juice in that one, beautiful. The most important part of Thai food, fish sauce. Each one of those slushes is a measure. One teaspoon, okay? So we're just gonna taste the flavors now. We want that balance of acidity and saltiness. Perfect. Okay, this is where you want to be careful because this stuff stains your clothes. A bit like mud coming through your window at 50 miles an hour. Okay, and this we just rub onto our fish, okay? Inside the stomach cavity, turn it over, a little bit more. Okay, and we just let that sit on the fish for about 5-10 minutes. <clears throat> Beautiful. Let's see if I can get this fish onto the paper without it flying away. Okay. Let's put this one on like so. Okay, we'll get this one up. And this is where I'm going to get my trusty assistant, Gaza. Sorry, I've been calling you Jez all morning. That's all right, Benno. <laughs> Jump in, mate. Cheers. What are your knife skills like? Your car skills are fantastic. Uh, yeah, well, we'll see, won't we? So we're going to make a yogurty Asian dressing for our sweet potatoes. Okay. So what I need you to do, mate, chop those nice and fine. Yep. Green chilli, the same. Same. And that one, chop that up. Not a problem. Okay, let's have a little look at our fish now. So what sort of cooking do you do when you go on trips, mate? Bit of camp oven cooking. Camp oven cooking? Yeah. It works, though. so it's just like a one pot. Build a fire, put the oven on top. That's the go. And nice and easy. That's the go. Bit of a lamb rack sometimes is a specialty. Okay. Oh, look at that. Here we go. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Beautiful. Mate, what I want to do here is, I've cooked my uh, fish directly over the heat. Okay. But I don't want to do it the whole way, because as you can see, it's a wee bit too hot. Right, right. Okay. So I'm just going to move it over. I'm going to take my potatoes out, because they're cooked. And I'm going to spread the coals now to either side, and we're going to cook indirectly. We'll put our fish back in. Okay. And what I'm going to do now is just while that cooks, I've got some of this good stuff. Now this is a Thai chilli jam. Just smear that over the top. Okay. And as this fish cooks, that'll caramelise and go all sort of nice and crispy. This little recipe you could do on the road as well. This is great because you can just throw these straight onto the fire actually. Cut them down the middle like so, just to open them. And like you do with baked potatoes, oh, you just yeah. squeeze them up, mate. Is that better for you? Yeah, that's perfect, mate. Yeah, Chuck it in this bowl. We've got some nice yogurt here and some of this pure ginger. Yep. And give it a mix. Right here. Let's have a little taste. Oh, that's good. Yep. Definitely. Okay, and then we just put a little bit of this. Needs one. We've got a little bit of coriander here. Thanks for your help, mate. No problem. I'll call you back in when we need to devour this. Sure and I'll get everything else I'll on sure the go. I'll help you out. Okay, it's about ready to get these beautiful fish off the barbecue. They have cooked up a treat. 
Now, let's see if this is going to work for me. Beautiful. So onto the plate. There's one. There's two. But it's not over yet. Just to finally garnish them, I've got some coconut milk. Just go over the top like that. And finally, some very, very finely sliced tapia lime leaf. And Jez, Jez, sorry, I keep doing it. Here we go, buddy. Beautiful. Oh, cooks perfection, oh, my man. Look at that. Look at that. Mm. Make sure you get some skin and some jam. Oh, that's good. It's not bad. Oh, is that's it? very good. 